So one way to invite people inside of a Zoom meeting is to create a new meeting. So once you create a mute meeting, however, every time a new ID is generated. But if you want to do a recurring meeting, then this might be really troublesome. So what you may want to do is you want to uh, try out using the personal ID, which is located under the new meeting button right over here on the bottom. And here you can see that you can check on use my personal ID. So this is your personal ID and it is associated with your account. So each time you start a new meeting, that's the exact ID which is actually used. So if I were to now uh, click on new meeting, so I have already checked this in. So if I were to click on new meeting now, I'll get the same ID. So each time I click on new meeting, I'm starting it out on the same ID right over here, just like that. So now uh, if I were to go over here, you can see that I'm using my personal ID right here, 2817 at the end, just like that. So if I were to leave the meeting right over here, I have some other options as well. 2817, that's the meeting. I can copy the ID and I can send it out in any application. So I can just copy the ID out over there. I can go over here and then I can copy the invitation which copies out the entire invitation. That is the link and the ID and the password uh, that can be used to join the meeting. So that can be used as well. Another thing over here is there's PMI settings on the bottom as you can see and this gives up a universal setting. So you can change your ID if uh, you upgrade to Pro. So once you uh, have your ID, it's the same for uh, same every time. You can also change the password. So the password is required. So if you want to change the password, uh, like uh, you don't want the existing uh, people to join the ID again, you can set a new password and then that's good. So each time you start a meeting, there's some option over here as well so that the video can be uh, on by the host by default or off. And also the video can be on by default for the participants or off. If you don't want the people to wait or that is if you don't want to keep on pressing admit button when people join in your meeting, you can disable the waiting room over here on the advanced settings right over here as well. So I'm just going to turn these off. You can also enable join before host. So what this does is that uh, even if you don't join in the meeting, they can still join in the meeting room and can wait for you. That is the host. You can also do that. You can mute the participants by entry. So this is usually an option which is handy so that your so that your meeting doesn't get very noisy at the end. And you can also record the meeting on the local computer. So if you do this, then as the meeting starts, it records the meeting onto a computer. And these are the personal ID meeting settings, which is there universally, like every time you start the meeting, this is already there. So once you're happy with the settings that you want to go with, you can just press save and then you can start your meeting just like that. And every time you start your new meeting, you have the personal ID right over there. So you don't have to bother generating a new link every time. So if you have a recurring meeting, like you have the meeting every day or every week, then you might want to use this method to save up some time. But however, remember that the personal ID, the meeting ID cannot be changed if you don't have a pro account. So be very careful if you don't want to share your personal ID and then uh, don't want to use it. I uh, don't want to use it publicly later on. So uh, that's how you can utilize the personal ID for meetings inside of Zoom clients. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.